Spideys. So things are getting even more weird with this Six Flags purchasing Cedar Fair rumor that's been going around. And honestly, I think I may have cracked the code. So I've been doing a lot of research. I've been reading a lot um, of the news articles coming out. And I think there's a huge misunderstanding. I think we can take a deep breath. I think this is actually going to work out in Cedar Fair's favor. Now, that being said, I do think that these are not rumors. I think that it's very clear now that there is something going on. It doesn't mean that Six Flags is purchasing Cedar Fair, but there's definitely talks at a table about something going on. I'm going to go over that in this video um, in detail. So to start, um, more news has come forward. So Cedar Fair um, is being said to be skipping a conference call today, So which is extremely weird. Um, conference cancellations are sometimes... Um, seen as an indication that the company is in the M&A mix. Now, an M&A mix is something like a merger talk. Um, so it's like a merger and agreement talk, um, which is probably exactly what's going on. So that being said, I think there's a lot of misunderstanding going on with the media. I think the media jumped to the conclusion that Six Flags was looking to purchase Cedar Fair. And I think it's quite opposite, actually. So if we want to look at things, um, Wells Fargo hit it on the dot. Six Flags doesn't currently have a CEO. Um, there's been no talks of a CEO moving forward up into the company's position. I, don't, I haven't heard of anyone that's up for promotion that could be a CEO at Six Flags. Um, and I want to point out another thing. So the stocks on the stock market are screaming exactly what's going on. So you're seeing Six Flags' of stocks plummet, and you're seeing Cedar Fair's stocks grow at an exponential rate. So yesterday... They were already they had already grown at a point that the company hadn't seen since 2010. Now add in today's growth, and it's probably their biggest growth in history. Stockholders and people who are investors, they know more about the industry than us enthusiasts. They know more about the industry. They can read what's going on. And what you're seeing is people selling their Six Flags stocks in hordes, and you're seeing hordes of people buying more Six Flags stocks. Um, what you also could be seeing is Six Flags investors selling off their stocks and investing in Cedar Fair. That should tell you everything. I'm not saying exactly what's going on because no one's come forward and said anything, which also tells you a lot. So for those of you naysayers saying this is fake news, I can tell you one thing. There's a reason Cedar Fair hasn't come out and just declined all of this news. There's a, there's a significant reason. There's something going on. Um, but I think it's all good news. I think we may be seeing the end of Six Flags. I know that's a big thing to say. Um, I think Six Flags is kind of in shambles. They don't have a CEO. Things aren't going the way they wanted. And I think that they're ready to merge with Cedar Fair because it makes more sense if a company like Cedar Fair is the main company in the merger. Cedar Fair is the one going out purchasing resorts, water parks, more properties, expanding their parks in exponential ways. And Six Flags is doing their basic tactics of investing very small um, into their parks. And, uh, you know, one park still getting a big coaster, but it's still a small investment compared to a company like Cedar Fair. So in all, it just makes more sense that Cedar Fair is going to be the one that runs both Six Flags and Cedar Fair if there is a merger going on. All the evidence definitely points to um, the media blowing this out of proportion. So if you think of your general public and your media, a lot of people don't know what fun on the stock market is, and they don't know what Cedar Fair is. People mostly think of Cedar Point, um, Knott's Berry Farm, and other companies like that when they think of the theme park industry when it comes to Cedar Fair. Not many people know about Cedar Fair. Whereas Six Flags has built a more reputable brand in terms of their commercials and their songs that made them more reputable than Cedar Fair. So when the media caught wind of news of merger talks or something, they may have jumped to the conclusion that Six Flags was looking to purchase Cedar Fair, thinking that Six Flags was actually the bigger company, when in fact and in turn Cedar Fair has the better track record in terms of paying off debt and uh, in growth. So Cedar Fair has shown the most consistent growth compared to Six Flags, and Cedar Fair is in the market to purchase more parks, as we've seen. So with Six Flags not having a CEO, which it looks like the media didn't understand, um, you could see maybe Six Flags wanting to be purchased, um, or in fact, a merge, because it looks like 
a purchase isn't in the book. So it doesn't look like Cedar Fair could afford to purchase Six Flags or Six Flags could afford to purchase Cedar Fair. But a merger and an agreement is something that is um, a possibility. And it looks like that might actually be happening. So we know that the conference call was canceled um, today. We know that um, Cedar Fair hasn't come out and said that this isn't happening. We know that Six Flags doesn't have a CEO. We know that Cedar Fair does have a CEO. We know that Cedar Fair is showing um, that they're purchasing lots of parks. And we know that Six Flags has lost some contracts out in um, other countries and stuff for building new parks. Things just aren't going the Six Flags way. Um, and maybe they're looking to be bought out or merge with a company like Cedar Fair. And if that does happen, it is definitely evident that Cedar Fair would be the parent's company in operating the two chains. So whoever the chief executive of officer of um, Cedar Fair is would probably remain that of both Cedar Fair and Six Flags. Now, there would be um, definitely some shakeups. Maybe some parks would be sold off. We're talking really small parks. Um, but maybe none of that at all would happen. Who knows? We can't sit here and predict the future. All I can say is um, it's pretty evident what's going on. Again, I could be wrong. This isn't me presenting the facts right now. I am taking the facts and making a conclusion. I think that the media definitely blew it out of proportion. I think they got their facts wrong in terms of coming to the table with Six Flags looking to purchase Cedar Fair. It's definitely, it looks like most likely Six Flags is looking to merge with Cedar Fair and be run by Cedar Fair um, as they're kind of lost. And anyone who knows Six Flags, they have not had the best luck in the recent years. They have definitely been a lost puppy wandering around a house um, in terms of CEOs and advancements. And it's just, it's just the right time for them to merge. And that's probably exactly what's going on. But I definitely want to hear from you guys down below. What do you think is going on in the amusement industry right now? Do you think that this is faux news? Nothing is true about this. Do you think that Six Flags is looking to inherit Cedar Fair? Or do you think Cedar Fair is looking to inherit Six Flags? Definitely curious to hear what you guys have to say down below in the comment section. But hopefully everything that I've said calms you down a little bit. I don't think Cedar Fair is going anywhere, especially with their stock prices rising. Um, again, the investors and the brokers know exactly what's going on in the industry. They can predict things, they can see things that most people can't, which is why you always go to an investor or you go to your bank um, for trading advice. And it looks like many people know what's about to go on. Six Flag stocks are dropping at an exponential rate and Cedar Fair stocks are rising at an exponential rate, which tells you everything. Um, if it was vice versa, then I could definitely see the news of Six Flags purchasing Cedar Fair being a reality, especially with the canceled um, conference call today but i definitely think all news and all evidence is pointing towards a merger of six flags and cedar fair and cedar fair is going to be the parent company running both chains and hopefully we see dc rivals and we see and we see the six flags name dropped because that is tacky i definitely love the cedar fair brand a lot more but it would be interesting do you think cedar fair could run all those parks successfully what would happen? Like, what would honestly happen? Like, would we see investments drop a little bit? Would we stop seeing these $30 million coasters and we'd start seeing like, you know, them having to add like eight to 10 coasters a year and the wealth spread a little thin? I don't know. Cedar Fair is really smart with their money. Um, anyone that knows them, they are extremely smart with their money. They pay off their debt really quickly. Um, they don't go out of control in terms of investments. And yes, that can annoy a lot of people in the smaller parks, but it's better to have a strong company running your park than it is to have a lost puppy. Um, I get it. It's amazing having Six Flags add an addition to every park every year. But if you just look at it, that company is lost. Um, they have no CEO. They keep hopping back and forth between CEOs. Um, and they have just coming out buying properties that really don't make sense. They're not solidifying their brand because they're losing these brand contracts because they like to lease parks instead of own parks, where Cedar Fair is very all about owning, paying off debt, and building really strong assets at their top parks, which in turn builds a really strong brand, which helps grow the brand in the end and leads to things like what could possibly going on, be going on right now, where Cedar Fair may merge with Six Flags and run both chains. So fingers crossed, that is exactly what's going on. Um, I know there's been a lot of panic in the coaster community, 
um, lately. And hopefully this video today helps explain things um, to the best that I can explain things. Um, and hopefully <laughs> I've calmed you down. Um, I know that I went through the loop as well. Again, my park is Canada's Wonderland. And no offense, Six Flags would not know how to run a park like Canada's Wonderland. And that is why I would be panicked in that situation. Anyways, hopefully you really enjoyed this video on the Six Flags buying Cedar Fair merger. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.